YouTube, just wanted to do e-liquid reviews with you today. We have Element Frost uh, in uh, 20 mil and Vamp Vapes Tiger Ice. These are both 80% um, VG e-liquids. So we'll start with the Element. Uh, this one, this is from their Dripper series, but obviously it's high VG. You can use it in any sub ohm tank um, as long as you're using it at high wat wattage. Now it has got some information, your warnings, some telephone numbers in case anything goes wrong. Some more information here, and obviously, this is a US made e liquid, but they do sell it in the UK. Um, lots of e, -li uh, e liquid sites do it. I got this from the cigarette outlet in Skeg um, for £11. They do sell it, I think, at the other e cig shop, but it's most likely dearer. Um, as most for some reason, they charge more than the one I normally use. So, yeah, now it is a, a memful. Um, when I did first get it, and I smelt it, it tastes, it smells like it's going to be like um, a tobacco menthol. It's got like a, a little bit of a tobacco smell to it, but it, it doesn't taste like that, which is quite strange. So, got it in my Blue World Crown. As you can see, the vape production that it gives you is fantastic. Um, it is like 80% VG, not 100, but I think it's better because you, the PG holds the taste, so this, and it does taste. It's quite a strong menthol, not too strong, um, considering that you're going to be turning it right up. But if you like strong menthols, then it's it's really good. I mean, I had a lot of trouble trying to find just a menthol. Um, high, VV, high VG e-liquid. I'd gone around quite a few places and couldn't find one. Um, and then some, somebody put me onto this and I've been using it ever since. Um, I think a lot of people prefer to mix menthol with something else if they're going to be uh, vaping at high wattages just because it's so strong. But it doesn't bother me. So yeah, and considering that it smells like it's going to be a tobacco menthol, it doesn't taste anything like tobacco. It is like a nice, crisp, strong menthol. Um, there's no nasty taste in it. There's no. It, it, it's a premium e-liquid, and you get what you pay for. Um, it is a decent e-liquid, and if you if you're looking for a strong menthol and you are a VG menthol and you like strong menthols, then I'd definitely go for it. Um, they do do it in a free and a six. This is just a free. Um, I'm guessing if you add the six, then it might even be taste stronger than this. But I think this is enough. Yeah, if it went any more than this, it'd be too much, especially if you're gonna have it really high. Um, that was at 30 watts. I'll take it a little higher. It's now at 37. As you can see, the vapor production that it gives you is fantastic, and you can go a lot higher than that. And it doesn't get it doesn't get too overpowering, so you like you know your mouth's kind of like tingling all over. It does tingle, but it's not too much. So yeah, I would definitely recommend trying these. I mean, the Element E Liquid they do them in loads of different flavors. I have only tried this one because I mainly only vape menthol, so I didn't. It's not the sort of, I won't just go in and pick up another flavour if I could get menthol on its own. So, yeah, I would definitely try it. If you're using drippers or sub ohm tank um, and you're going to be sub ohming on a, a decent wattage, I would definitely try it if you like menthols. I mean, if you're not a menthol person, then you're probably not going to like this because it's going to be too strong for you. It's going to, yeah. But, yeah, so that's the frost. I also got. Vamp Vapes Tiger Ice. This is the same um, 
it's a 4 MG instead of a 3, but it's the same uh, amount of VG, it's still an 80%. Again, there's not so much information on this one. Although you have got uh, your 18 band, under 18, um, the milliliter that you've got, which is 30. I mean, as you can see, they both come in dripper boxes with drippers, which is handy. Although the frost has got a little bit of a curve to it. But they're definitely easier, especially if you are dripping. I would imagine that having the, the tea thing is easier than doing it with a nib. But yeah, so... This one is supposed to be, um, it's not a menthol one, although it's supposed to have taste like a bit like menthol. It's toffee, vanilla, custard and mint, which was why I, tried, I picked it up because it was before I found this one and I was looking for a high VG menthol. But yeah, toffee, vanilla, custard and mint. So I mean, it, it, it's quite a strange mix, but it sounds like a strange mix. To be honest, when you smell it, it smells like custard and toffee. Um, that's there's no mint smell in there at all. The custard and toffee is very um, overpowering. So I've got this in a ice tank on my uh, I taste cool fire. So what are we at? 30 watts. Again, the vapour off it's fantastic. You're getting nice, massive, massive, big, fluffy clouds. And like it smells, it's definitely custard. Um, it really does taste like toffee custard. And now, if you like that sort of e liquid, then it would be brilliant for you, there's no nasty taste, it's just as good as any of the other Vamp Vape e-liquids um, I mean I've used Vamp Vape but only the, not the sub ohms, not the high VG it's like the normal one, the uh, menthol one but even just taking a short drag off it, the vapour off it is fantastic, really really white um, in fact the vapour on the vapour off this one, the fluffiness, is better than the, uh, the element, which is a shame because uh, this is the one that I can use. <laughs> this one I've had for quite a while and it's just been sat there. I've had it for like a few weeks and I've not even used it. There's like a tiny bit gone because I've filled the, uh, my tank up twice out of it. Because I just, I don't like, I just don't like the uh, custard toffee. I don't know, I can't vape that all day long. I know some people can. As you can see, the clouds of vapour that you get off it are great. Um, and yeah, it really just tastes like toffee and custard. That's even smelling it. There's absolutely, it does not smell like mint. There's maybe a touch, a touch of the mint in the smell, but when you're actually vaping it, there's no mint there at all. Um, which is, I mean, menthol's quite a strong e-liquid you would have thought if they put menthol in with it that you would taste it but no it really just smells tastes like toffee and custard so if you if you're into that if you like that sort of vape toffee custard anything like that cream then i would give this a go um because it's a really nice e-liquid um vapor wise and taste wise there's nothing nasty in there um it's i think Bamp Vapor are decent uh, e-liquid makers anyway and it is a UK one. The thing that I can say about the taste really is you do get quite a nice um, custardy aftertaste at the back of your tongue, like really sweet custard um, after you like breathe the vapour out. Yeah, like now there's like a really nice sweet custardy aftertaste. I'm guessing if you don't lung um, mouth, to, if you don't lung inhale, you mouth to lung inhale, you probably get that on your tongue.
yeah, when you actually take it, breathe the vapour in and you hold it in your mouth, you get it on your tongue then. Um, I don't normally do that, so I, I, I kind of got it after I'd uh, let the vapour out. Either way. Whichever way around it, you, you do it. You're still getting a lot of vapour, it doesn't really make much of a difference. But yeah, they're both nice e-liquids. Um, this one, for some reason, has slightly better thicker vapour than the element but they're both they're both decent from decent people and the taste you know vamp vapes a fantastic company we've used them quite a bit and um the elements of a good company as well so yeah both good e-liquids would recommend either um and on this one if there's anybody watching that fancies trying this um, if you leave a comment below, I will we'll send it out to you free of charge. Um, it's nearly full, and um, I haven't had it very long, and I've, I've not used it apart from for this review. So, yeah, just let me know. UK only, though. Um, sorry about that, but it's just obviously postage costs. So, yeah, let me know, and thank you for watching, everybody.